Okay, everybody, so it is almost 11 p.m. here in our new home on Thursday night. So, got here Monday, we've had Tuesday, Wednesday, and today's our third full day here. Now, the funny thing about today was, today was by far the most productive and most expensive day that we've been here because we actually bought a bunch of big ticket items that are going to be critical to furnishing the new place. The problem is, I can't show them because we ordered them, we put them on order, but they're not gonna be here for a while. We ordered a 65 inch Samsung TV that's gonna be in our living room and I ordered you know, the delivery and also they're gonna mount it up on the wall. I also ordered a sectional couch with chaise for the living room. I ordered a love seat that is going to eventually be my seating here in my office. And this is actually funny because here's, here's what's gonna happen with that, okay? Just to clarify. So here's my office, and the way it's gonna work is that we're gonna have my, de my desk here, okay, with computer, hopefully dual monitor set up eventually, etc. Over here, you're gonna have the office chair with, with the mat, but what I wanna put right here is a love seat pointing towards this wall. And that love seat can basically be where I sit and relax while I game, okay? So it could be I'm sitting here for playing PC games or I'm sitting here for playing console games looking at the wall, all right? I have decided I'm going to keep my current 55 inch television and that is going to be sitting here on the same TV stand that I always used and I'm gonna be sitting here in my love seat. Problem is the love seat isn't showing up until August. That's right, it's not available until July 27th and then of course they have to ship it and deliver it. So what I'm going to be doing in the meantime, this is kind of funny, is that the sectional couch that I'm getting for downstairs in the living room is too big to fit the living room if I got the whole couch. So I told the guy I don't want the whole thing, I want one of the sectional pieces left out. He said, well guess what? <laughs> it's not a special right now. If you get the whole couch, it's one price. If you get the couch less this piece that you say you don't need, it's only a $4 savings. I said, what? Well, then obviously, yes, I want the final, uh, the final sectional piece, even though it can't fit in the living room. And what I'm thinking of doing is having them bring it up here, have them bring it in this room. That could be a little mini one little sectional thing for me to sit and game in the month of uh, July. And then come August, that will be moved out and possibly even moved into the other office for Leanna and I will get my love seat, okay? I also ordered a very nice um, uh, storage bench which matches the couch downstairs. That's gonna go in front of our bed in the master bedroom and it has storage inside of it, okay? So the couch and the storage thing are not gonna be shipped and delivered for at least seven to 10 days. That's what I was told. Um, we also ran into a very nice uh, dinner set for our dining room, a nice wooden table and chairs. And we also found a nice entertainment center made of the same wood material so it matches. And we're gonna go back there tomorrow. We have to measure tonight and well actually what we have to do is take the pictures and look at them and see if the wood looks good with our hardwood floors in our kitchen. And we may go back and order that tomorrow, okay? So TV, okay, plus installation, plus a free Blu-ray player it's coming with, 3D Blu-ray player for the living room. Sectional couch for the living room, love seat for here in the office, and a storage, uh, a storage, uh, you know, uh, bench for the bedroom. All ordered today, and I can't show you any of it because none of it's showing up for at least seven to ten days. I know it's a bummer. The TV is actually being delivered on Tuesday of next week, so Tuesday of next week we have to stick around in the afternoon, and they'll be delivering the television. Um. So we did all that today. Now what can I show you? What did we actually get today that's physical that I can show you? Well, it's funny because every day we're doing a little bit more to furnish the place, right? Every day a little bit more, a little bit more. So as you can see, there's boxes and stuff here because we bought stuff today. Some of the things we bought today. As you can see here, we have an oscillating fan. The reason we bought this fan is because we now have central air, which I've never had. I've always had like an air conditioner up in the window or whatever, right? Can't do that here in the new house, but we have central air. Problem is, central air is not very powerful. It actually can heat the home nicely, but for cooling, it not so much. The good news is, in Washington here, it never really goes above 80 degrees, okay? 
It's a rare occurrence if it does. So you don't need an air conditioner blasting on you constantly. But last night it was up there. It was probably around, you know, high 70s into 80. And it was a little bit stuffy in here. Even with the vent on maximum, because this is the vent where it comes out, and there's also another vent over here in the corner. Even with both those vents, it was still kind of stuffy in here. So we went out and we bought an oscillating fan today that's going to, you know, distribute that cool air throughout the room, and so far it's working well. As you can see, we still got our stand here with television, Blu-ray player, and cable box that was installed yesterday. So we have cable, cable vision, or not cable vision, I'm sorry, uh, Comcast, Xfinity. We have on demand, we have a DVR set up, all kinds of stuff there. Okay. Um, wow, a nice trash, trash can finally for the bedroom, which we haven't had. I was going to show you in the best bathroom, we have a ton of stuff, but Leanna has decided to go in there and close the door. <laughs> so, in the bathroom which is gross by the way, we're gonna wash it. But we got did different bath pillows for when uh, Leanne is in the, in the, the bathtub. That's we actually got broke. a scale, a new scale we bought, all right? We actually found out that this toilet paper holder is busted. This thing was broken. And I have to remove this from the wall, but what we did is we went out, we got a different kind that hangs from the toilet, see? So, you know, little by little, we're making minor improvements daily that are making things a little better. I got a little, a little container here for my powder that I need to use at night. Different things like that. I okay. picked out the container. Yes, you did. You found it. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. So, really, that's all I really have to show you. I will do a quick walk downstairs to show you the state of downstairs today. Like I said, we didn't really get too much progress simply because there wasn't much progress to be made. We ordered all the stuff, but it now has to be delivered. Um, I haven't gotten any updates whatsoever in regards to delivery of our stuff from the movers. I actually am going to call them tomorrow to try to find out what exactly is going on with that, okay? As you can see, there are some improvements. I'm not sure the last time I filmed the kitchen, but you know, you have different towel, various towels, the phones in place. We got a night light now. Every drawer, well, first of all, here's our utensils. That's nice. But every drawer is now filled with contact paper. Contact paper, see that? So that things, when we finally load this up, don't slip around or anything. Remember I showed you that nasty, nasty chicken soup stain in this drawer? Well, I bought this air freshener that's supposedly supposed to kill the odor. I don't know if it's going to. I put it in there. It's supposed to neutralize nasty odor, so we're hoping that will do that. Um, not much else progress here. Look, you know, the stools are still here from yesterday, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but not much else to show you. The living room is still completely empty. I'll definitely be looking forward to next week when Tuesday we'll finally have the TV in place. Hopefully the movers will show up earlier next week, Monday, Tuesday, that would be nice. And then hopefully by the end of next week, the sofa will show up and finally we'll have a functional living room by the end of next week. So I got a week to wait. But in a week, I should have a functional living room. Um, so what's going on tomorrow? A few things, okay? First of all, I've got a ton of phone calls to make. I've got to actually call, um, I've got to call, and first of all, find out about health insurance. We've been here now for about, what, since Monday? So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, four days, and I just realized we don't have health insurance. Our health insurance, yes, it's good, but it's only good for the state of Connecticut, I could still use it. Problem would be that I would have to pay out of pocket for a ton of stuff, all right? So we gotta get new health insurance. That's number one priority tomorrow when I wake up, I'm gonna be looking into health insurance. Number two, I actually have to call in regards to the delivery of the furniture that I bought today because there's a little finagling that we did um, with the delivery. Basically, I paid for all the delivery together, but what I need to do is call tomorrow and say, oh, well, you know, it's great that I paid for it all together, but what I would actually like to do is have the furniture that's in stock delivered first. I don't want to wait for that love seat that's coming in August, you know? So we're probably going to be doing that um, tomorrow to try to get that, that delivered as soon as possible, that furniture. Okay. Um, gee, what else? I'm trying to think. Uh, there's something else I need to make a phone call to as well. I'm trying to remember. Oh, the movers. I want to call the movers and find out what's the status of the move. You know, where is the stuff? Do we have an update on when that's going to happen? Because obviously I need to know when the movers are going to arrive. They have not given me any kind of an update as of yet. Um, and I'm sure there's other stuff too. So tomorrow we're going to start the day with that, okay? 
And then at one point tomorrow, we are gonna probably go back to the furniture store. We're gonna confirm that we like the way that the, the furniture that we wanna buy looks with this wood. And we're gonna put that, that dining set probably on order, as well as that entertainment system. That, uh, it's not really a system, it's a small you know, wooden cabinet we can put down there so that all this stuff that you see here on the floor has somewhere to go. It's not just lying out you know, on the floor stupidly. Um, and then tomorrow we may have a surprise for you. I don't want to promise anything, okay? But Leanna and I have been talking it out and we did a little bit of research today. I don't want to spoil, so I'm not going to tell you what this is in regards to. But tomorrow we may have some fun vlogs that you're not expecting that will surprise you, okay? And if everything goes well and it works out, this could lead to a lot of new vlogging content in the future. Completely different from the kind of stuff I've done previously, okay? All right, so that is it for today. Um, you know, day four here. It was a very productive day for us. I just, I wish I had more to show you, but I don't. I don't know, you know what I mean? I don't know what else I could possibly show you until stuff starts showing up next week. Tomorrow should be a more productive day and I may have better vlogs for you tomorrow. So, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for more vlogs with some hopefully really good ones. Peace out.